Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Refugee Challenge, which is organized by What Design Can Do, a platform for the impact of design. The UNHCR, the, refugee, the UN Refugee Agency, and the people of IKEA Foundation. So for those who were not present yesterday at our big keynote on main stage, a short video, one minute and a half, so you understand what this challenge is all about. So, designers, innovators, creative thinkers, and problem solvers from all countries and all ages. Here's your chance to make a difference. Join the Refugee Challenge. So, this is a challenge, and now you probably saw the date on there, May 20, when it was officially closed. And here's a trick. We have a few wild cards for students around here to enter this challenge and make a chance of winning 10,000 euro and enter an acceleration program which will develop their ideas into feasible, viable, viable and scalable products or services. So we put in front of uh, the group of people yesterday, so what is your idea to solve, not to solve, but to help integrate better integrate and uh, uh, receive refugees here in our cities in Europe. So, um, we have today uh, one, uh, two, uh, three teams and two individuals pitching their ideas to you. Um, a one minute pitch, uh, so I'm gonna present them one by one and give them a big applause and then Let's see what you think is the best idea at the end, okay? So, uh, first of all, I like to have on stage, and then maybe I need a microphone. Do you have a handheld? Oh, they have, oh, everybody has, oh, great. Can I have, first, on stage, from Belgium, Iron Out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you have, um, Oh, yeah, you have a whole pro a stick, okay. Wait a second. No, yeah, on this side. Okay, well let's put it back on. Yeah. 
You have a sticker? This works like this. Okay. You can actually use this. Hello, I'm Arnoud. I'm a student, uh, Master Energy on the KU Leuven from Belgium. I first want to uh, little introduction. So I want two things. I want to delete money from the world and uh, I want to change the thinking uh, of people. So my uh, ideas come from uh, the nature. So would I Um, so ants, they work always together and don't need money, also as bees. And in your body, you always also have uh, cells with different tasks and uh, they work together without using money and something. Um, but why can we don't do that. So maybe uh, we can start with refugees. Uh, only we need to uh, give change, yeah, help them with the language. They have skills, but they have many uh, time free for do something, and uh, they uh, can't earn money of. Uh, this, so if we can talk uh, with the refugees and uh, search work for them, that take with their uh, skills and uh, look what they really want to do. So, and then if they found work, we can let them do it for money for the company of uh, exchange for uh, for many things that the refugees can do and no, also not, yeah no? huh? yeah i know it's um how long somebody clocked that was like okay finish yeah, up yeah, because it's a loss it's a loss and that things you can get with uh, work from the refugees you can help the refugees and uh, increase the company or, or something but the company will uh, not gain uh, money, yeah. Wins, yeah. Same, yeah. Uh, thank you for your attention. Woo! Thanks. Okay, um, and next up is um, a duo uh, Giacomo from Italy and Mathieu from France. Do you have any slides or are you gonna? Okay, give them a big hand of applause. Here's the mic. So hello everybody. So our idea is to create a platform to inform refugees uh, of their legal rights to make law simpler to understand. So we call it uh, Wiki Refugee and I will let uh, Giacomo explain in more details. Thanks. Wiki Refugees is um, an online platform that uh, provides the, uh, that wants to um, uh, uh, to let the warranty to this re to refugee to um, uh, to recognize their rights, national and international rights. So it's a, in a it's a summary, a clear and direct summary of the law, the national and international law, laws that um, uh, that um, uh, the people that refugees can uh, can uh, have during the period, a specific period, when they are involved in the bureaucracy uh, of, the, um, of, this, of the nation. So um, uh, it's, uh, it's in uh, Arabic and in English, so two, uh, two important languages, and um, the community can, uh, is constituted by uh, as no, no party stakeholders, it means uh, civil people, it means uh, church, it means no NGOs, uh, so a third party, an individual party, that's uh, warrant, uh, that's gu guaranteed the, the rights of refugees in this specific time in order um, that uh, the refugees are not victims 
of the bureaucracy of the state, for example, uh, the time in order to, rec to receive the um, permits or the, um, uh, yeah, uh, the, other, the other things of the, um, of the state. That's it. What's, great. So what's the name of your concept? Wiki Refugees. Wiki, Wiki Refugees. Okay. Thanks a lot. Can I have now on stage David? Thank you. Woo! Where are you from, David? Sorry? Where are you from? Honduras. Honduras. David is from Honduras. It's just a picture. This one? No image? Oh, sorry. No problem. Don't worry. Drag these states on. Oh, the computer. Yeah, Great. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe it's on another. Maybe you have to. Oh. Okay, David. All right. Good evening, everybody. My name is David Venegas, and I'm here to present Siri, the smart chat. So, you know, it's really complicated for a refugee to find out information about what shelter to go, what city, what country, how to get there, how to talk with the police, how to uh, talk with people, natives. And so we want something that's simple and that's smart for refugees to easily find the information they're looking for. So the Siri, the smart chat, works just like Siri on your iPhone. Basically you ask questions and the smart chat will look data from all the other websites that exist currently about refugee situations and then it pop up, pops up and gives the refugee the information that he's looking for. It's as simple as that and it's smart. Thank you. Good timing, David. Yeah. You won a prize for the in one minute pitch. Great. So can I have uh, next, Franco Amaretti. Woo. Well, guess where Franco Amoretti is from? Huh? Mexico. Of course, Mexico. <laughs> Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> okay, are oh, you on your laptop? Oh, it's a script. Can I put this here? Can I put this computer? Yeah, yeah. Well, hello everybody. My name is Franco. And I thought and that nowadays people focus on first steps help or solutions such as um, collecting money to buy food, clothes, and stuff which you will need to give them in a short future. So um, I thought in the phrase, give a man a fish and you will feed him for one day, 
and teach a man to fish and you fish feed him for a lifetime. So uh, I thought in the idea that many people uh, would like to help but they don't know how or they don't have money to give but they have time. So presenting each refugee like a tutor and so this tutor, are he, as he's local, um, he may know a lot of people who will uh, need uh, people for for job, for working. And the idea is he uh, spend time with a refugee. He know his skills. He know in what he's good, what he like. Um, so after analyzing all, all this, help he, help him to find a job um, and this, when he finds a job, he can um, maintain his own family. So you can assign another refugee and in that way uh, you will give them the tools to, to feed its own family. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so, um, then we, I want to have a, a duo. Uh, oh no, it's only one person as well. Uh, Francisco Rubin. You have any presentation? Thank you. Oh no. No. Hi everybody. I'm Francisco Rubin. I sadly I don't have a presentation today, but it has to be enough with my voice. So I was thinking about this problem, and for me the biggest pain point of the process of finding a new land for these refugees is the moment when they get to the land and they have to spend a year or more without knowing what they are will do in their lives because they don't even know if they are going to be able to stay there for the rest of the time. So there is, there's a lot of fear and uncertainty and I think that um, to make them feel safer they need to know that there is a future. So Do you hear me? Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So they are also facing a lack, a lack of motivation because they cannot work. They don't have permits, and um, they, they they don't have that in, in, intrinsic motivation of knowing what of, of knowing that they are progressing with their lives. So uh, to counter that, I think that the biggest challenge is to allow the refugees to work during the time that they are there. And um, I've come up the, with this idea of an app where the refugees can uh, scroll through job opportunities of short-term jobs, and they can choose one, they can do the work, and then the employer pays that money to the app. And uh, finally, the, the app keeps a balance of the money that the refugee has gained during the time they use it. He, the refugee can see um, his balance, he can see that it is progressing, that he's gaining money, although he cannot use it yet. And when he gets the permit, if he gets it, he gets all that money transferred to his bank account. If he doesn't get it, that all that money is uh, transferred to a charity for refugees. Yeah, the, um, the name of the app is Scroll to Work. Scroll to Work. Okay, now last but not least, we have Callahan and Alex. Thanks. I got mine. You have your own? Yeah. Okay. No sound, right? No sound, yeah. Everyone hear me okay? Hello, my name is Callahan Tufts. Uh, my partner is Alex, she's out in the crowd. Uh, and we're here to talk to you today about a program we're calling CHU. So we chose to focus on uh, the lack of interaction that refugees have with their local community when they're, when they're there, uh, the fact that they're often negatively portrayed uh, and sometimes spending very long times in these reception centers um, without any chance of sort of personal development. So, what is CHU? CHU is a community humanitarian eating workshop. Uh, 
Uh, it's a series of cookbooks and reality competitions involving local communities and refugees, which builds towards a global competition in the end. Think Eurovision, but for cooking. Uh, they, they create the locally sourced and culturally inclusive recipes, and through this, we create an interaction and a community involvement uh, in the process of hosting these refugees. And then during the filming and the showcasing of the recipes and creations, we can also raise awareness towards the ongoing refugee crisis. Uh, and the proceeds from the various cookbook, um, cookbooks and television advertising will be used to fund refugee programs around the world. And that's it. Thanks. Oh, whoa. I don't need this one. I have my own mic. Okay, so you heard one, two, three, four, five, six different ideas and concepts. We have one wild card for sure to give for the winner of tonight. And we might, if you um, endorse them, have another extra runners up wild card. So I want everybody back on stage here and it will go one by one and I want to hear your applaud and we have our applause meter on. So guys, take the stage. I want in order of appearance. Okay, so. Let me check that. So we have first we had Arnaut come forward. He had the bees to refugees concept, right? So give him an applause that you think he deserves in being the one deserving a wild card. Arnaut? Great. Then we had Giacomo and Mathieu. They had the wiki refugee come forward. Very nice, very nice. Then we had um, Francisco, uh, no, so Franco and Francisco, no, you're separate again. Eh? So we had Franco, um, which is mentor and refugee. And then we had Francisco, scroll to work. Good, 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 good. And last but not least, Alex and Callahan, come forward. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Francisco, we have Franco. David, oh, sorry. David, smart chat. <laughs> very good. Sorry for that, David. Not very smart. Then come forward, Alex and Callahan. <laughs> Whoa. That is pretty clear, pretty clear. So this is the wild card going into the challenge, making a chance of winning 10,000 euros. Congrats, guys. But then I want to offer one more wild card, but I think there are kind of a draw here between uh, Francisco, scroll to work, and David, uh, smart chat, if I heard the audio right. so. Um, David, come forward, please, and uh, Francisco. So once again, I need to have a clear audio distinction here. We have, yeah, you make it. <laughs> Francisco, scroll to work. Let me hear your applause. <laughs> and then we have David Smarchat. Still not clear, am I? You, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won? Okay. All right, both. I'll be generous tonight. Excellent. Well, the guys who didn't graduate today, again, if you want to put some work in it, we'll meet here. And a lot of you still have, have a chance of entering, but you need to put work in it. But those guys are into the challenge for sure. Well, thank you all for clarifying the winners and uh, well, we'll see you on backstage, the main stage in a bit. Bye. <laughs>